Hey good people, hey good people. Banshee switched up the inventory, so for my people who are a little newer to the game or just haven't played in a while, I gotta show you the best roles. Let's start with Arsenic Bite. This baby is an arc lightweight frame bow and it's got tactile string, flexible string, compact arrow shaft or helical fletching, snapshot sights, archer's tempo and a draw time masterwork. It is, this is a beautiful PVP role, and it'll also be decent in PVE if you don't have anything better. Draw time easily under half a second. You'll love this, all right? So if you didn't pick up any of the prior arsenic bites, go ahead, grab one. What you waiting for? All right, now Shattered Cypher. This is a void machine gun. This is good for either PVE or PVP, either side, right? There are better rolls, but if you don't have a decent void, pick it up. It's got Chamber Compensator, or Core School Rifling, Alloy Magazine, or Steady Rounds, Heating Up, and Adrenaline Junkie with a Stability Masterwork. I mean, throw the fact that it's a rapid fire frame so it has more ammo reserves, great at clear weapon right here. Moving on. Alright, this baby right here, again, hybrid, very good roll. PvE or PvP is going to serve you well. It's the Staccato Solar Scout Rifle. It's got arrowhead break or fluted barrel, tactical mag or extended mag, outlaw for a nice, nice, flashy, speedy reload after you get a precision kill, and rampage will stack damage after your kills up to three times and you got a range masterwork being that range is its weakest stat very solid very solid all right the other thing i wanted to point out this leans more towards the pve side in my opinion could serve you well in both though stochastic variable arc smg it's got extended barrel or full board appended mag or armor piercing rounds or phase magazine and then killing wind or well excuse me and dragonfly would handle a masterwork masterworks more pvp but that baby right there is more pve does have effectiveness in pvp so give it a shot if you haven't already those were the dailies now let me show you the weekly stuff again so legal action tool this high impact pulse has corkscrew rifling or fluted barrel alloy mag or flare magwell surplus and frenzy this is a very nice pve pulse i am telling you especially with a reload speed masterwork moving on for pvp again i will tell you Cy hermetic is nasty Another high impact, this one's stasis. It's got polygonal rifling, hemoforge rifling, steady rounds, accurized rounds, outlaw, and then head seeker with the bootleg Telesto wildcard origin trait and a handling masterwork. I love this role because it compensates for its two weakest stats with this role here. And the extra damage head seeker has been like a S tier perk ever since they buffed it. So it'll serve you well. Moving on, if you need a decent ad clear PVE void fusion rifle and you don't have no composure, Snorri is here for you. Corkscrew rifling or hammer forge rifling, accelerated coils or particle repeater with steady hands and reservoir bursts with the Omelon Fluid Dynamics Origin trait and a range masterwork. It's got great range and this is the star right here. Reservoir Burst, make sure your mag is full, kill an enemy, they go kaboom, a lot of purple everywhere, and if there's enemies right there next to it, they either die too or get hurt. This is just a beautiful thing. And the last thing I wanted to point out was an Arc Sword Nas Redden. It's got Honed Edge, Hungry Edge, Undoring Blade, Balanced or Heavy Guard, 
energy transfer surrounded and field tested with an impact masterwork for more damage this is a very specific situational role but it is a beautiful one that i think is slept on field tested lets you charge faster and hold your guard up for longer right this baby right here energy transfer when you're guarding and you take damage helps charge your class ability it works perfectly and then you got surrounded for extra damage if you're using it as an add clear sword i am telling you it is good <laughs> Anyway, I hope this helps. Please drop your opinions down below. Keep in mind, this is for newer people, people who've been away from the game for a while. Not the person who has every single roll of every single gun and has three of them, but there's still some good things in here. So likes, subs, shares, and especially comments help. Thanks y'all for supporting, and I'm out.